sometimes things come up that you just can't foresee. It's an outdoor show and it starts to rain. It starts to rain really hard and the power goes out. You get there and your planned schedule has gone completely and irretrievably astray. If something disruptive happens, the power go, goes out or something like that, you are the visiting celebrity and your reaction may become the keynote for how everyone looks at the problem. Here's a thought to get you through almost anything. It is what it is. Get over it. Your job is to say, oh, what a terrible shame. Well, let's have fun anyway. I've had to move shows indoors or under a tent. I've had to do shows by flashlight. I've had to get in the car and drive to another house. If you take it easy and put on your it's not such a big problem attitude, most of the time everyone else will too. And if it's all just insane and you can't make it any better, sometimes you just have to say your lines, take the check and go home. You will encounter the occasional problem, child or adult. If you're stuck with one, a straight on look in the words, we're not going to do that, work fairly well. Kids get an edge on them. Even the nicest ones become really annoying and hard to please. They get tired if it's hot. And they lose the ability to be civilized. That's natural. Adults can be that way too, especially when you add in the one factor common to almost every one of these picnics. If you notice a distinct rise in the level of annoying parents as the afternoon goes on, it's not you, it's the beer. You have to stay calm and friendly even when you're being firm. Develop some ready stock comments to defuse the situation. A magic line for getting them to take no for an answer is, I wish I could. As in, can you make just one more balloon for somebody who's at home? I wish I could, but I'd get in trouble if I did. I wish I could, but I've used up my last balloon and there aren't any left. I wish I could, but I'm late for my next engagement. I tell you what, I'll take you first next year. That notion that it's not your decision and it's out of your hand is very powerful. I once had a friend, a lawyer, who worked alone, and clients were always saying they don't have the money to pay her right now. Uh, they'll pay her real soon, sort of, maybe, but could you handle this pressing court appearance first? And she was hurting. She was literally not paying the rent or the taxes. She didn't have the money. And you know what I told her? Tell your clients I'm sorry. It's not my choice. My business manager won't let me do another thing for you unless your account is brought up to date. Now, there wasn't a business manager, but the idea that it wasn't her choice, she would if she could, but she's not allowed to, got a lot of those bills paid really fast and kept them that way. Of course, getting arguments for people young or old can go way beyond frustration and arouse your anger after a while, but anything you do out of anger will only make things worse. Nobody ever turned an unruly group of kids or adults into a sweet little lambikins by yelling and turning the dynamic into me versus you. It's already, as far as the annoying people are concerned, me versus the stupid clown. You don't have to buy into that because if it turns into that on both sides, it's just a headbutting contest and nobody ever wins. If they can make you angry, that means they have power over you. You're in charge. Never let yourself get shaken from the idea that you are running things. What are they going to do? Sit on you and force you to make a balloon? Let them yell and threaten all they want. You've gotten the check. Uh, you do have the check, don't you? I told you to get the check first. And leave your ego at home as well. I sometimes see performers fall into one very deep trap. If someone challenges them, or someone's unhappy about something, then suddenly they're explaining, arguing, justifying, trying to prove they're right, instead of doing the one thing that might save the situation. You say, I'm sorry, what can I do to make things better? You'd be surprised at the turnaround it makes. I'm sorry doesn't have to mean I'm wrong, I'm completely idiotic. It can mean I'm sorry, I sympathize. Let's do something constructive to see if we can't still make you happy. 
but you're dealing with the public and you will get the occasional idiot who just defeats all your anti-idiot strategies and has a big old problem with you. Like I said earlier, usually it's the beer. But you're a winner, you know you are, and with some confidence and the emotional fortitude not to get ruffled, you can plan well and deliver everything you promised and keep people happy, keep yourself courteous, calm, and firmly in control. One take. Everybody say one take. One take, dude. Here we go. But remember, mom or dad needs to be there. Okay. okay. There are very few bookings in available. There are very few, but there are very few jobs real. Again. Other than a direct no, will go over better. Here, watch this. this and this. The children find that very soothing and steady. So many. All right. Guys, we're done. Okay. Is the van still there? I hope, yes. Ah, but it get... I got it. Thanks. Sorry about that. La, 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 la.